Hey guys, what's up? It's Thief, Thief King Bakura 13 here, and today I have a, a new video for you. It's uh, somewhat different from my normal uh, videos. It's actually a top 12 video. Um, uh, my next big project that I'm trying to uh, work on is to create a dragon uh, type themed binder for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I've already done a spellcaster themed uh, binder. Uh, spellcasters are my favorite type of monster in Yu-Gi-Oh, but dragons are my second favorite type. So before I did do make that binder, it's kind of a bigger project because there's a lot of dragon type cards to go through. Um, I decided, hey, while I'm kind of looking through my cards, why don't I make a top 12 uh, dragon type monster uh, cards, uh, you know, video that I have in my collection. So before I go through and start doing it one by one, uh, kind of the criteria that I consider for my top 12 are is kind of rarity it's not the biggest criteria in fact the first card in this top 12 video is actually a common so um nostalgia is a huge factor uh it's probably the biggest factor and um the artwork too so those are probably the main factors uh for why uh, my top 12 uh, but nostalgia is probably the biggest factor you'll probably notice that pretty soon um once i start the uh, going through the cards um so yeah, without without uh, further ado, why don't we just go through here and um, we'll go for number 12. So for number 12, uh, we have Doom Virus Dragon. Uh, see if it focuses a little bit better. Um, let's see here. It's, there we go. It's focused. So Doom Virus Dragon is my favorite of the legendary dragons, and I wanted to include at least one legendary dragon uh, in this top 12 video, um, as you can see, it's a common. I only have one copy of this card uh, for some reason, um, and I have plenty of other uh, of the legendary dragon uh, cards uh, at, um, at higher rarities as well. I love Mirror Force Dragon. I think I have an ultra rare from Legendary Collection Kaiba, um, and uh, I also love Amulet Dragon as well. And I think I have a high, a higher uh, an ultra rare at least in that. Uh, of that card as well, but I wanted to include uh, Doom Virus Dragon. It's my favorite, and even though it's just a common, I love that I have at least one in my collection, and it's definitely going to be in my Dragon uh, type binder, uh, even though it's just a common. So, give props to Doom Virus Dragon at number twelve. The next uh, Dragon type monster uh, at number eleven is going to be Black Skull Dragon. If it focuses a little bit better, and as you can see. Um, this isn't a very high rarity too. It's just a rare. For some reason, I haven't had the luck of uh, pulling a very high rarity uh, Black Skull Dragon. Um, so I don't have many of these, and I think rares or commons are all that I have of Black Skull Dragon. Doesn't seem to be want to focus right now for some reason. Um, but yeah, you know what Black Skull Dragon is. Okay, so then. For number 10, we have a kind of a newer card, not not as so much nostalgia, but I love this card. Um, if it focuses, it's Light Pulsar Dragon, and let's see, come on, does just does not want to focus. So, uh, Light Pulsar Dragon anyway, there we go. Light Pulsar Dragon is um, a really cool card. Um, it's kind of like Chaos Sorcerer in the way it functions, and like you can summon it um, by removing one light and one dark monster from play from your hand, but you can also summon it from the graveyard by removing one light and one dark one dark monster from your hand. I mean, uh, actually, let's look at it. So you can banish one light and no one light and one dark monster from your graveyard to summon it from your hand, and you can summon it from your graveyard by banishing one light dark one light and one dark monster from your hand, and it's got a really cool effect. Uh, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one level five or higher dark dark uh, attribute dragon type monster from your graveyard and special summon it. I love the artwork, and I believe I got I pulled this card out of the retro uh, retro dragons collide structure deck video I did earlier on my channel. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that one out. Um, so number nine, we have Red Eyes Black Dragon. Um, obviously, don't really need to go into too much with him. Um, Red Eyes is a classic. Uh, nostalgia Factor is high on him. 
And out of all the artworks, I just wanted to pick this one. It's not the original, like, Joey artwork from, like, the structure deck. But I had an ultra rare um, copy of this one. And I decided to just put Red, Red Eyes at number 9. You can't have a top 12 dragon type video without Red Eyes. Okay. So, uh, number 8, I believe. Let's see. I'm not getting at 12, 11, 10, 9. Yeah. Uh, number eight would be uh, my Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. So, um, this is obviously a newer monster. Um, I believe I pulled it out of the 2017 um, Yugi Moto tin. Um, and, bo or was it? No, I think I actually pulled it out of the Kaiba tin. So, wow. Uh, this I love this card. It is so cool. I was wondering if they were ever going to come out with a two headed Blue Eyes. And, um, it's got some pretty sick effects, too. So, uh, even though it just has only 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense, uh, so you have to be, it has to be fusion summoned or special summoned by sending the above monsters, uh, you control it to the graveyard, uh, in which case you don't need to use polymerization, um, and it can't be destroyed by battle, so that's one cool effect, and this card, uh, can make up to two attacks onto your opponent's monsters during each battle phase. And um, when this card attacks on this opponent's monster, the opponent's monster was... You know, if it was not destroyed by battle, you can banish it by this using its effect. So it's, it's got some great effects. And I love Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is my favorite. So probably my favorite. One of my favorite dragon. You'll see what my favorite is. Anyway. The next dragon uh, at number seven is just the classic Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You've heard the phrase, two heads are better than one. In this case, three heads are better than two. Um, you can't beat the classic one. And this is a secret rare uh, version of the... Uh, this is a secret rare copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I believe I pulled this one um, out of Legendary Collection Kaiba. So I had to include a secret rare copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Um, give props to more blue eyes at number seven. You're going to see blue eyes is kind of a card that I love here. Uh, number six though, is kind of an interesting one. Uh, I think so. Number six is serpent night dragon. I absolutely love this card. Um, it is a level seven type monster and it's weaker, uh, in terms of attack power, uh, than uh, dark magician, but it's not, not by much. It's, if it wants to focus, it's got um, 2350 attack and 2400 defense. Um, anyway, it's really not wanting to focus on this guy. Maybe it's just too bright. I don't know. But anyway, I pulled this guy out of Spell Ruler. Um, it was, yeah, here we go. Now it's focusing. It was not a um, Magic Ruler, classic Magic Ruler 2002 pack, but it was a reprint. Still, I had to include Super Night Dragon. He is one of the coolest looking in terms of artwork. Nostalgia factors there. Uh, and he's a secret rare. So high rarity. Um, in terms of that too. Uh, so now we are at the top five. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, so now we're going to crack into the top five. These are the elite of the elite in my dragon collection. Number five is Trihorn Dragon. And uh, I absolutely love this card. The artwork is so cool. The dragon just looks so badass. Um, and as you can tell, it he's only a super rare. Um, if my camera would focus a little bit better. Um, I pulled him... Uh, you talk about nostalgia. I pulled it out of a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. No, no, I didn't. Excuse me. I did not pull him. I pulled him out of Legendary Collection um, Yugi's World, I think. If it had been a... Uh, L.O.B., he would have been a secret rare, much higher rarity. However, I don't have a secret rare, to my knowledge. Maybe he's buried somewhere. I do not have a secret rare Trihorn Dragon, and I absolutely love this card, so I had to uh, at least include um, the super rare copy that I had at number five. So, number four is blue eyes tune dragon so this is the third version of blue eyes we we're, we're, we're seeing already uh at number four in my collection so if it wants to focus uh 
well, let's see. Well, anyway, so he's a secret rare copy. I definitely pulled this out of Spell Ruler. Um, Spell Ruler is my favorite magic ruler, whatever you want to call it, is my favorite set in entire in the entire um, uh, entire in, in, in of all of Yu-Gi-Oh bo booster packs. Excuse me, I'm sorry. So it's magic ruler. Spell ruler is my entire set, uh, my my favorite set, and I've pulled both secret rares out of it, as you saw earlier, Serpent Knight Dragon, and I've also pulled a secret rare Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. Uh, Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon uh, actually isn't my favorite tune monster, to be honest. He's one of my favorite tunes, um, but I think that honor my favorite tune would probably go to Tune Summon Skull. Now we're in the, to the top three, and leading off that number three would be Meteor Black Dragon. I absolutely love this guy. Um, these are really hard to find. I don't even remember where I got this, uh, where I pulled him. Um, Meteor Black Dragon is so cool. I remember him like the old like video games on PlayStation 2. Uh, for some reason, he just seemed to be kind of like a prominent uh, card that would that you could use like fusion. And he's probably um, I wouldn't say I like him as much as as Black Skull Dragon, um, because Black Skull Dragon's probably one of my favorite fusion monsters ever. But I definitely love uh, love him a lot, and well, maybe, uh, well, maybe I do like him better. Um, if I had a higher rarity Black Skull Dragon, I I, I might have put him ahead of this this guy. But this guy is just so hard to find, um, and uh, for some reason he has a higher attack power than uh, Black Skull Dragon, even though Meteor Dragon is a weaker monster than Summon Skull, and I think that's really cool too that they did that. Very cool looking card and concept. All right, number two, um, we have a Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I promise you, this is the last Blue Eyes theme card. This is the original Blue Eyes. Uh, you, no explanation really needed. Original artwork. Um, I've loved Blue Eyes since day one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Since I started playing. And, uh, yeah. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Number two. And my favorite dragon type monster card in my entire collection would have to be. That's right, five headed dragon. So five headed dragon is my favorite dragon type monster that I possess. Um, if it focuses a little bit better, um, hopefully it will. I definitely pulled this guy out of legendary collection Yuki. So obtaining him wasn't too hard once that collection came out because. Probably before that, it was probably really hard to actually pull one of these guys. But I'd love for it to focus a little bit better. Um, there we go. He's just... Uh, this. The artwork is incredible. The nostalgia factor is incredibly high with this guy. Obviously, he's the Big Five's boss monster. The Big Five is definitely one of Yugi's main antagonists in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. A a 5,000 attack, 5,000 defense. Incredible. Attack and defense power. Obviously, you need to fuse five dragon type monsters. It's pretty hard to come uh, to summon this dude, but he has an effect as well, and he can't be destroyed by a dark earth, water, fire, or wind at attribute monster. Uh, seems like the only monster that can beat this guy is when Yugi and Kaiba are playing, and they summon Dragon Master Knight. Uh, and of course, Dragon Master Knight is a light attribute monster, so he can beat this card. Um, love this card. The artwork's incredible. Uh, not much more to say. So, thanks guys for watching. That was my top 12 uh, Dragon Type Monsters in my collection. Uh, it, please leave a like, and in the comments, tell me what your favorite Dragon Type Monsters are. Uh, if you have, and uh, maybe what, what your favorite Dragon Type Monster in this, in my collection was. Um, also, if you like uh, these kinds of videos, like top 10 or 12 videos in this case, uh, Please uh, tell me in the comments if you want to see more of this, these kinds of videos in the future. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, until next time, see ya.